Hello everyone, welcome to Stampin' Grotto. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this cute little gatefold belly band card uh, that just says thank you for sharing your heart. So the belly band just slips off and the card opens like that. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's start with our base. I've already gone ahead and cut everything that I'm gonna need, um, but again, I will walk you through every step of the way. So my base is Cherry Cobbler, and this is cut to 11 inches by five and a half inches, and then it's scored at one and a quarter, three and three eighths, seven and five eighths, and nine and three quarters and it's gonna fold to make a card base that looks just like this. And then we are going to cut a piece of basic white to four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I stamped this stamp here from this stamp set in Cherry Cobbler, just in the bottom right hand corner. And this will be going in here just like this. And then we are going to need pieces for here and for here. So those will be the same size. And I'm going to mat some pattern paper on some basic white. So these two pieces are cut to two inches by five and three eighths of an inch, and those are the same. So those will be going on these outside spots here. And then these two pieces were cut from a Day at the Farm Designer Series paper. So this is from the Celebration, and these are cut to one and seven eighths of an inch this way by five and a quarter inches this way. And again, we have two pieces of those. And then for these front flaps here, we're gonna have two pieces of basic white that are cut to one and one eighths of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. And again, two of those. And then this paper is also from Day at the Farm Designer Series paper. And this is cut to one inch by five and a quarter inches. And then this is going to be a belly band that will help hold our card closed. And this is cut to 11 inches by three quarters of an inch. And it is scored at three and a quarter inches and seven and five eighths of an inch. And we're just gonna fold on those score lines to create the belly band. The last two pieces are actually from these punches. So they stack together and I just punched this scalloped heart out in a piece of cherry cobbler. And then I stamped the thank you for sharing your heart stamp. This is also from this stamp set in cherry cobbler on a piece of basic white. And then I punched it out using this heart punch here. So let's go ahead and put our card together. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I am just going to glue this piece on. So this is where you can write your note on your card. And this just goes centered on your card. So this is gonna go on here, centered as best you can. And then the other one will go on the other side. Whoops. And 
then these just get layered on the white. The other side. And then our front layering pieces. So there is the base of our card completed. So now we just have to finish off our belly band. And it will fit on here just like this. So we are going to glue these two pieces together. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on here and then a little bit of glue on this side and making sure that you have everything lined up as you know as well as you can we're going to glue those two pieces together so now you have your belly band with the seam on the back and that just goes on just like that and it holds our card tightly together and then we are going to glue our heart that has our sentiment on it we're just going to glue that to the center of our scalloped heart so just like that and then we're just gonna take a couple of dimensionals and we're just going to use those to pop our sentiment right on there, just like that. And then to give it a little bit of a finishing touch, I'm going to put a few of these red rhinestone gems onto the front of my card. So I'm just gonna grab my take your pick tool and I am just going to place them down just like that. And I'm gonna do three on either side just to kinda and there we have it. So relatively quick and simple card, but kind of fun to make. It's a little different. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. And as always, if you are interested in seeing more, please like and subscribe. Thanks everyone.